All right, if you're looking at the extra ratio table practice problem and thinking, what am I looking at? Here I am to give you a little bit of assistance on this problem. So this is a three column ratio table. So we've got a triple ratio, but you can solve this problem in chunks. And that would be my recommendation for you if you're looking at this kind of struggling on where to start. Treat this as if it's two, two different problems. The first problem would be I would say cover up the giraffe part of this table and pretend it's not there. So I'm just going to gray out these blocks temporarily and we'll come back to those in a bit. Right now let's just pretend it's a zebra to gorilla ratio. Now I can fill out the rest of this table. Um, well, the way I would do it, and there's more than one way to do it, is I would first simplify the 14 to 42 ratio down to a 1 to 3 ratio. And the way I'm getting there is I'm just dividing both things by 14. 14 divided by itself is 1, and 42 divided by 14 is 3. Now I can use the 1 to 3 ratio to build out the rest of this table pretty simply. Uh, to get from 3 to 18 is times 6. So to get from 1 to this blank next to the 18 is times 6 as well. And 1 times 6 is 6. So there's my first thing. It turned green. I know that I'm correct. Um, the next jump is 1 to 18. Well, that's times 18. So 3 times 18 is going to be my next. And 3 times 18 is 54. And then lastly, to get from 3 to 12 is times 4. So 1 times 4 is 4. Now I'm going to uncover this part of the ratio table because we, we need it. And now I'm going to pretend that the zebra column is grayed out. And I'm going to treat the rest of this table as if it's a gorilla to giraffe ratio. The one that's given to us is right here in the middle. It's 18 to 3. So I'm going to simplify 18 to 3 as much as I can, and that would be a 6 to 1 ratio if you divide them both by 3. And now I can build up the rest of this table to get from 1 to 4 is times 4, so 6 times 4 is 24. And then I can match up the other parts of the table. For gorilla, to get from 6 to 42 is times 7, so 1 times 7 is 7. To get from 6 to 54 is times 9, 1 times 9 is 9, and then to get to 12 is 6 times 2, so 1 times 2 is 2. And now I've pretty much completed the table. I could go back to this extra blank and fill it in if the gorilla is 24. All right, so originally we had said that 18, um, originally we had said 14 to 42 simplifies to 1 to 3. So to get from 3 in the gorilla column up to 24 is times 8, so 1 times 8 is 8. And now I've got a completely filled in table. All of the answers are correct. Um, there you go. I know I talked a little quickly. Just wanted to get the, the video in for you. But pause it, rewind it, go back through, see if you can, can reason through what I did. And if you have got further questions, just send me an email. But try the table um, and then erase it and see if you can figure it out on your own again. There's nothing wrong with doing a problem you've, you've seen before. Take out all the information that was there, just reset the table and see if you can do it. Um, but yeah, good luck with that one. Let me know if you have questions.